Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce the singular and formal imperative. In a prior presentation, we saw that the formal imperative was easy to form. You simply put the verb in the first position, the formal personal pronoun Z in the second position, and add an exclamation point. You may wish to review that presentation before continuing with this one. The informal forms are a bit more complex. Although the verb will always come in the first position, the informal imperative forms depend on how many people are being addressed. We use the singular informal imperative, some ca sometimes called the do form, to address only one person, and the plural informal imperative, sometimes called the ihr form, to address a group of people. Both forms are only used when talking with friends or family members. Since there is a lot of material to cover and the rules are somewhat complex, this presentation will examine only the singular and formal imperative forms. The main thing to remember is that all of these forms are derived from the second person singular verb conjugation. Let's use the sentence you see on the screen, Du schreibst den Brief, you write the letter, to see how to do this. First, Move the verb to the first position and drop the st ending, which is the second person singular ending. Once this is done, you remove the second person singular personal pronoun, du, from the sentence and add an exclamation point. These steps produce the command, schreib den Brief, write the letter. We can retain the personal pronoun if we would like to add a bit more emphasis to the command, schreib du den Brief, you write the letter. Sometimes an optional E ending is added to the end of singular and formal imperative forms, such as you see here, schreibe den Brief. This ending is not optional, however, if the verb stem ends in D, T, or IG. For example, since the verb stem in arbeiten, meaning to work, ends in a T, we must add an E to the imperative form. Arbeite nicht so langsam, don't work so slowly. Or, as you see here, since the verb stem in erledigen, meaning to complete or to carry out, ends in ig, we must add an e to the imperative form. Erledige deine Aufgaben. Finish your tasks. Finally, if the verb stem ends in m or n and is preceded by a consonant other than l or r, then we also need to add an e to the imperative form. Since the verb stem in zeichnen, meaning to draw, ends in an N and is preceded by an H, we must add an E to the imperative form. Zeichne das Bild. Draw the picture. Now that we've talked about the consonant endings of verb stems, let's talk about stem vowel changes. Verbs that have a stem vowel change in the present tense also have the same change in the informal imperative. For example, the stem vowel for the verb sehen, meaning to see, changes from e to ie in the second person singular. Du siehst mich an. You are looking at me. The same stem vowel change is also present in the singular informal imperative. Sieh mich an. Look at me. If, however, this stem vowel change involves the addition of an umlaut, this umlaut is dropped in the informal imperative. So, for example, the stem vowel in the verb laufen, meaning to run, changes from au to a umlaut u in the second person singular. Du läufst schnell. You run quickly. In the imperative, however, the umlaut would be dropped from the verb stem. Lauf schnell. Run quickly. Finally, there are some irregular informal imperative forms to be aware of. The most common one you will use is the singular informal imperative of sein, meaning to be. For example, sei nicht so albern, don't be so silly. Although werden, meaning to become, does have a stem vowel change in the indicative mood, this is not present in the singular informal imperative. Werde endlich erwachsen, grow up already. Since the verb stem ends in a D, however, we do need to add an E to the form. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.